Chelsea won, Aston Villa won, and uh, to be honest, it was quite a good game. Um, I hope everyone had a really good Christmas. I know I did. I did get the uh, black away shirt. Really nice. I do recommend it a lot. But, um, yeah, I think Ben's doing a reaction to this game as well. But I just wanted to say a few things. Like, we got a, we got a point against Chelsea. And, um, you know, from last season, we, obviously, we did lose two times. 2-1 uh, two, two, wins to Chelsea both times, I believe. And, um... I'm actually really happy with this point. Yes, we could have won, and they could have won. It, it was such a 50-50 game, and I know a lot of people wouldn't agree, um, but it was such a 50-50 game. Like I think the possession was quite close to each other as well. But um, going into the game, obviously, Giroud gets that goal. I don't really... I, I don't know. It's just... I think he might have just been poor defending at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, we didn't let our heads go down, obviously, after... The half time, we come back on the pitch, we look like more lively. Um, and the one player who really stood out for me was John McGinn. Like, I do not know how he didn't score that one chance he had, it was just really good. And um, he was like a nuisance to the Chelsea players today, he's like really on them. And um, yeah, other than that, I think everyone else had a pretty average game. Martinez definitely on point again, Grealish on point. Um, I thought a few of the Chelsea players were a bit, you know. Just, you know, there was a few yellow cards that wasn't handing out at the right times, like with Kante's, like, fouls. Uh, Giroud, obviously, you can't you can't kick someone on the head, like. I know he didn't fully kick him on the head, but you, your legs shouldn't be all the way up there, like, close to someone's head. And, you know, he should have he should have got a yellow card there and then, but, you know. El Ghazi gets the goal, it was a pretty good goal as well. Uh, he's got he's got five goals in five games, and you know before the season none of us want him to start. So you know fair play to him, he's really really up to his game. Uh, I'm really proud of him. Uh, Traore, I thought he would get a goal, but I don't know he he was actually still good. It's just the only thing he was missing was the goal. The same with Watkins being a nuisance to their players. Um, Horse and Conzer in defence. Definitely not bad. Definitely not a bad duo. Would I consider? Would I say Mings to come back? Um, from that performance, I, I'd say definitely House and Mings are sort of on the same like level. Yes, I, I feel I feel like Mings in the goal uh, in the defence. Sorry, when you have him, you you do look a bit more structured. Obviously, he's really tall, uh, six foot five, I believe, and yeah, and you know you want players that tall in the defence, don't you? Um, also a tall goalkeeper, which we have. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know if Dean did change him back to come back on for next game, which I believe it's Man United on New Year's Day, I'm not too sure. Uh, I wouldn't really mind, to be honest, but, you know, I'd definitely take a point against Chelsea. And it was funny, because we could have won it, and they could have won it. It was so 50-50, and that's what I want to come on to at the end. Um, you got people saying, this is a bit of a freak season for Villa. We've got the right players now, so it's not a freak season. We've just got everything right for us. Um... And we are competing with the best of the best. And right now we are acting like a top six club. And do I think we can get it? Yeah. It's def like, why would I say no to it? We can definitely get Europa the way we're playing right now. Today, I, I thought we were sort of off. And um, yeah, obviously, Chelsea, they weren't very... What's the word? They weren't very confident on the ball. They were sort of panicky at times. But we we were definitely a bit off. But still, we are getting points from it, and we are getting results, and it's all, you know, it's really good. Even, um, you know what I mean, I, t I don't know what else to say, it's just, people can't be saying we're, like, relegation-worthy team, we're just not good for the Premier League. We really are, and we really are competing for the best of the best right now, it's just like, you know, we're getting wins out of nowhere, we've had four wins, um, winning 3-0, uh, clean sheets, three of them away. Um, Emmy Martinez, this is an another game, you know, that he hasn't lost. I think he's gone four games clean sheet. Obviously, today we did concede that one goal. But um, I think it's five games we haven't lost as well, obviously, since West Ham. It's just, there's a lot of positives to go with this. So, you know, normally I would be upset with a point against anyone. Definitely upset with one against Burnley because obviously we had 27 shots. Oh, come on, one act of bound to have gone in. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just actually really happy with this. It's like, I'd be happy with a point against these uh, Tottenham, Man United, Man City. 
and um, before this, I was just saying like to Ben, obviously you the, the uh, video for the West Brom game. Um, if you if you are asking me if we can get you over anything, wait till we are playing the on form teams like Chelsea, Man United, Tottenham, Man City teams that will get into the top four spot, and then I'll say something to you. And from what I saw today, we we weren't hundred percent. We still got a point against you know. Chelsea, which are, you know, I I do feel like will they will get around third, uh, if they really push it second. But you know, again, a point against them is amazing. So it's definitely a step up from last season. But uh, yeah, we go on to Man United next. I'm not too sure if it is them, but if it is, um, I'm sort of confident to be honest. Obviously, we will we'll have Mings back. Not sure if he will play or not. Um, Barkley will be back, so you know that's a massive boost for us. Um, and yes. Uh, sort of confident for it so if you like the video please put a like on it you know um we've got our instagram and twitter in the description so check that out uh ben will be doing an instant match reaction as well so obviously look what he said and yeah of the video of the pride of villa we'll see you next time